Hey everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. How are you? I'm doing good. As you can see from the title of the video today, we are going to be talking about this new case that's going on. Uh, it's the, the missing cases. As of now, it's a missing case. Uh, hopefully it will stay that way and turn into a found person. Uh, but this is Jennifer Dulos. Uh, I'm going to be reading the timeline over here. And uh, as you know, if you follow me, I do this a lot of times to kind of get myself on the same page with everybody else and what's going on and make some commentary along the way so i kind of treat it like a little discovery that we can go on together um so with that being said uh let's go ahead and jump into it here we go so again this is the case of jennifer Dulos. this is very recent um things have just been going on uh with this in the last couple of days uh so here we go uh, so friday may 24th Police receive a missing persons tip for 50-year-old Jennifer Dulos of New Can Canaan or Canaan. Um, friends said that she, they hadn't heard from her for about 10 hours uh, after she missed several appointments for that day. Now, again, this is another situation where the friends are like, wait, something's not right. You know, let's, we need to contact somebody. And, and this is just, you know, in this day and age of technology and things like that, where people don't want to be bothered, people don't want, rather text and call. I just think it's awesome that we can still see this where people are like, hold on, that's not normal. Let's, let's put something out there. So uh, again, I just, I think like we saw this with Chris Watts case with uh, her friend Nicole you know raising the red flags immediately uh, and, and same thing here so you know kudos to these friends who are doing that uh, let's continue uh, so she was last seen dropping her kids off at school now she has five kids too so you know if you're following me in the Tim Jones Jr. trial that was another thing involving five kids um, now thank god the children aren't involved in this one you know directly um, but so her her Chevy Suburban was located on Lapham Road near Waveney Park, uh, and again that was Friday, May twenty fourth. So Saturday, May twenty fifth, yes, uh, police search Jennifer Julius's new Cannon home and they find blood, uh, with along with attempts to clean up the crime scene. So this is never good. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Tuesday, May twenty eighth, the attorney for photos. I, I'm probably butchering his name. Photos Dulos files letter with court saying all five children are staying with Jennifer's mother in New York City and armed guard is with them. Photos is also seeking a cust it's also seeks custody hearing. So now Photos Dulos, and if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, I'll just drop it in the comments. Uh, this is her strange ex husband, and him and his girlfriend have been arraigned and charged. Like this is all kind of happening right now. Um so it looks like they totally had something to do with it. Allegedly, we'll see. Um, but this has been a nasty, nasty custody battle going on. And essentially, it's made out that these five kids are with a grandmother. There's armed guards there. He can't get to them. Um, and so that's kind of like the heart of the, what I consider to be the heart of it. Now, he also apparently owes his father-in-law. Uh, I, I don't know if it's her stepdad or her father. I have to check. But he owes a lot of money, like well over a million dollars um, for some loan that they took out. And I'll do a separate, I'm going to do a separate video on that. So this video is just about the timeline. So we'll get into that in a little bit. I apologize. Let's keep going. So Wednesday, May 29th, friends and family release statements saying they remain hopeful for her safe return. Awesome. Police, New Cannon State Police, Norwalk Police, New York State Police say they're still searching for Jennifer, focusing, focusing on Waveney Park. Channel 3 digs through divorce documents which say Jennifer was afraid of her husband. So you see this history with these things coming up. Uh, Thursday, May 30th, <clears throat> pardon me, sources close to investi investigation tell Channel 3 this case is being considered a homicide after blood evidence was found amid the search for Jennifer. So this is unfortunate completely. Um, now, I have not gotten this far into this to know if they found like tons of blood all over the place or whatnot. I'm assuming if they're going to switch it to a homicide, there's, I'm guessing there's major signs at the, her place that you know, something very wrong went, went down. Uh, CBS New York confirms search moves to Pound Ridge, New York. New Cannon search moves to Irwin Park. Channel 3 law enforcement analyst weighs in on search. Prayer vigil held for Jennifer Dulos and New Cannon. Uh, okay, so Friday, May 31st. Uh, police continue search one week later. Hand out flyers at Waveney Park. Friends, family, issue new statement calling for Jennifer's safe return. Search for evidence shows to several sheet streets in Hartford, including Homestead and Albany Avenues. So, you know, I think this is always good in these cases, you know, to have hope. 
um, I think for both, obviously, because if Jennifer's out there and it not it, not just this case, any of these things, you know, and they start hearing that friends, family, whatever, they're talking like, oh, well, you know, whatever. I mean, it's not good. Um, I think it's always best to hold on to hope until you know, even if the circumstances look grim. I mean, you t honestly never know. Look at these cases where somebody appears 20 years later. I mean, it's not the norm, but it happens. And so I just think for everyone involved, until s stated otherwise, like, hold on to that hope. Um, okay, let's continue. Saturday, June 1st. Police secure search warrants as search spans multiple towns across Connecticut, New Cannon, Hartford, Farmington. Officers seen going in and out of the Dulos home on Jefferson Crossing and Farmington. Officers searched Kenny Park in Hartford after neighbors report foul smell, nothing found. Fotis, Dulos, and Michelle Traconis, his girlfriend, are taken into custody and Avon. Both are charged with tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and first degree hindering prosecution. So this is where their story starts to unravel. I mean, not exactly right there, but before. I mean, these situations where, and again, this is gonna have allegedly written all over it uh, because they have not been convicted of anything or whatever, but this is where these cases like this, um, I don't, I, I never understand why people resort to murder and kidnapping and things of this nature, because I'm just like, how do you think you're going to get away with this? In this day and age, why do you think you would get away with it? I, I mean, and that just to me, and again, as I don't want to say the, you know, oh, they're insane or crazy because we all have been, you know, we know what's going, on, what's going on with the Tim Jones Jr. thing, but it is a level of insanity because I'm just like, first of all, why would you even think to go down that path? Secondly, why, I mean, why would you think you could get away with it? Um, especially when these people are, are so surrounded by people that care and love for them. It, it just baffles me. And I think that sometimes like anger and greed and jealousy and all these things, they just, they consume one and they're not thinking because again, as we see with these insanity or, or you know, pleas and whatnot, I mean, there's a difference between not knowing what's going on and just being, you know, doing something crazy, like murdering somebody else. So, uh, let's continue. Please hold. Sunday, June 2nd. Search continues as Fotis Dulos and Michelle Taconis are held on bond. Police, federal law enforcement seen at another home in Farmington on Mountain Spring Road. A website lists the home as renovation project by Four Group, Fotis Company. So, this is going to get interesting. So, let's, before I say anything, we'll continue. Uh, vigils held in West Hartford and New Canaan. Uh, Monday, June 3rd. So, I'm recording this Tuesday, so this is yesterday. Fotos Dulos and Michelle Traconis expected to appear in New Old Court. FBI agents are seen at Wakeney Park. And that's where this ends. So, I'm going to do a separate video on their court appearance yesterday because I just want to do this kind of separately. I do best doing that. I like doing that. Um, this case, in my opinion, has all the makings there for something that just gets the public interested in it. Uh, and, and what I mean by that, I mean, these are very pretty well-to-do people. You know, she has five children, uh, seemingly comes from, you know, this good family. You know, but essentially, they, it's almost like a life that one would want, a life that one is also interested in. Um, and I'm not trying to say that other, you know, people are not that interesting, but if you look at these cases that strike people, there's usually something horrific that goes with it. And a lot of times, for whatever reason, when money is involved in it, because these people clearly, you know, uh, um, have a lot of money, it just something about it. I don't know if it makes it seem like a soap opera or what, but it just, it, it fascinates people. Um, I mean, I find the whole thing fascinating. I just, again, the aspect of, I want to learn more about her estranged ex-husband. I want to know why she was afraid of him. I want to know the details of that. Uh, I want to know the relationship between him and his girlfriend. Uh, you know, this whole, I mean, and again, if he wants custody that bad that it's willing to murder her, I mean, really, you're going to, you're going to do that to your children's mother. You know what I mean? Like whatever issues are going on, it's just like, my gosh, is that really honestly the answer? And that's where I think a lot of these crimes that take place, you know, when they're perpetrating them against the, the, a spouse and ex-spouse, but you know, the mother or father of their children, I'm just like, what, think about your children. I mean, in addition to all the other wrongness with it, you know, you want to take your children's parent away from them. I mean, really? Um, it, it just baffles me. So, but anyway, so again, I'm going to be following this case. This is very interesting to me. 
Um, and we're going to kind of go from there. So any comments y'all want to have or do or talk or whatever, drop it in the comments. And uh, I hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.